private owned, yet used by the public, privately operated, yet owned by society. Pacific Construction, a new type of SOE by the people, ranks 89th in world top 500 and comes first in global construction industry. Rise, the past, indicating unique ideas and distinct choices. In 1992, Yan Jiehe started his venture in Nanjing with 120,000 RMB. All he got was three ring road culvert projects after five times of flipping. Upon the estimation of a 50,000 RMB deficit, Yan decided to start out from here. The extra working hours and added materials resulted in a total loss of 80,000 RMB. However, behind the idea of it is better to lose 80,000 than 50,000, the craftsmanship of wisdom, conscience, endurance and generosity moved the contractor and won him not only more but also better orders. Yan gained his first bucket of gold, 8,600,000 RMB, becoming a dark horse in construction. In 1995, Pacific Construction came into existence. In 1996, during the initial establishment of Suchan Shifu Avenue, the first delivery project was independently designed, invested, and constructed by Pacific Construction with its delivery finished in the same year. Twenty years later, pebbles over the road appear to have been polished yet without any scars or cracks. A project constructed by conscientiousness, a project benefiting the descendants, and a project brought up with honor. In February of 1999, according to the jointly issued document of five ministries of China, the Shifu Avenue business model, originated by Pacific Construction, was addressed as BT model and required to be promoted nationwide. Yan has been known as father of BT in China ever since, while Shifu Avenue in Suchan as the first order of Chinese Triple P. After 25 years of ups and downs, Pacific Construction now consists of 200 groups and 1,500 companies, undertaking the investment, construction and management of more than 3,000 parks in over 1,000 cities all over China. From leading in BT and BRO innovation to the perfection of Triple P today, Pacific Construction has developed into the largest city operator in China. Authoritative experts, including Zheng Xinli, Chairman of China Triple P Research Institute, and Jack Hong, President of the Institute, highly appreciated the Triple P model of Pacific Construction. Extension The future Indicating generosity and dedication The magnificent advancement of Pacific construction derives from the blooming of six flowers from Manhattan, New York through Lu Jiazue, Shanghai, to Baiyunchen, Guangzhou. The Yan family, together with other Chinese political and business elites, as well as former U.S. President Bill Clinton, former President of South Korea, Lee Myung-bak, Prime Minister of Singapore, Lee Hsien Loong, the former Prime Minister of Australia, Bob Hawke, John Winston Howard, and Kevin Michael Rudd, former British Prime Minister Tony Blair, and James Gordon Brown, former Irish Prime Minister, Bertie Ahern, former German Prime Ministers, Gerhard Fritz, Kurt Schroeder, former French President Nicolas Sarkozy, Russian President Putin, Prime Minister of Bulgaria, Marisa, Prime Minister of Albania, Edi Rama, and other international characters of politics and commerce, together join the discussion. Traveling alone saves times while traveling in crowds reaches far. The present Pacific Construction is heading from leadership to teamwork, 
From humanization to standardization, from familization to socialization. In 2011, the second Huatuo CEO Forum for Chinese and foreign political and business leaders was held in Shanghai. Under the witness of Clinton and many other international political leaders, Yan Jiehe stepped down as chairman of the board. Yan Hao, who was born after 1985, officially took over Pacific Construction. At the beginning of 2014, after tours to Taiwan, USA, Japan, and Korea, Yan traveled to Australia with a second generation of elites. The new Analex has been shown in Takirozuka Review, Tokyo, Sydney Opera House, Wiener Music Verein, Vienna, and Broadway, New York. At the beginning of 2015, upon the foundation of AIIB, Yan and his group lifted a Pacific tornado during their trip to Europe. Besides warm welcome, they received an invitation to a full contract of European 8th Corridor. In April, shareholding transformation was fully unfolded, which truly realized the shifts from vocation to career, from treatment to honor, from employee to shareholder. On December 5, 2016, Premier Li Keqiang warmly received Yan Hao, Chairman of the Board of the Pacific Construction in the Great Hall of the People. As the only entrepreneur representative, Yan Hao made a keynote address. In 2017, in response to the Belt and Road Initiative, Pacific Construction, with its headquarters moved to Xinjiang Province, has been devoted to constructing the core of Silk Road Economic Belt. With a northwest layout and over 400 billion RMB infrastructure investment, the company has initiated cooperation with countries along the Silk Road. In Guangxi, Pacific Construction puts 450 billion RMB into infrastructure construction. 50 billion RMB has been invested to forge a modern service industry with the standard of the Wise Village Bama. The Southwest Headquarters were established in Nanning with a Southwest layout to access AFTA from all directions. Pacific Construction, starting out from a canal and entering the Pacific through the Yangtze River. We are heading from Pacific Construction to constructing the Pacific. Draw the attention of the public by ups and downs. Enhance the influence by difficulties and affairs. Deepen the appeal by facts and rumors. Strengthen leadership by our honesty. Achieve great success by all our efforts. From wild fantasies to enlightened mind. From strong boldness to great achievements. From wide concerns to deep suspects. From disputes of disagreement to harmony of differences. From a unique idea to a distinctive style. Blood is thicker than water. Water is purer than blood. Occupation is cold, yet treatment is hot. Work by heart and behave with reason. Work as water and act as mountain. Live moderately with softness and tenderness. Only the toughest grass stands in the strong wind. People with real wisdom cherish righteousness. Don't worry, a tree grows too big so long as it strikes deep roots. One grows in appreciation, but gets mature in condemnation. Gentlemen contribute to growth. Villains result in maturity. A standing great man is a mountain. A lying great man is a monument. Depending more on oneself when pursuing interests and fame. Love others more when showing love to our country and family. Understand the difficulty in starting and maintaining a business. Think positively in studying and trading. From the everything available of the character rise to the nothing unnecessary of the character extension. 